hi guys in this video we will see how we can uh, use HTML instead of just single hello world or single string and uh, we will see uh, there's something called Jinja template which Flask uses for making the dy content dynamic on HTML pages so uh, if we see this hello world and uh, if we uh, click on if we see the view page source we will see there is only single statement hello world but what if we want to uh, return an HTML page or if there are a lot of component on HTML page let's say there is an image there is a table and some order list an order list uh, there are some links so what we can do uh, one thing is we can write the whole HTML code here so HTML head body title and all these things so but but this won't be a good practice if we write the HTML code in a Python file so what we can do there is a function called render template template so uh, we are importing this function from flask we are importing render template and we can say instead of this single hello world you can render a template right and uh, we will uh, name this template as let's say index.html now what you need to do uh, you need to create index.html right but index.html you need to create inside a different folder uh, which is known as templates folder so you create one folder first templates folder and inside this folder you will create a new file known as and you will basically save this file as index.html so what is the essence of this uh, creating new folder templates so as you've seen we have uh, i haven't mentioned here that uh, the the html file the index.html file will be inside a template folder so basically the flask already knows all the html files will reside in this folder templates folder so basically this is a good practice to keep html files in a different folder which is known as templates folder right so now in the html index.html file i can write the whole html code so let's say html code and uh, basically the the title tag which let's say the title is home page and uh, in the body i can create the heading one this is the h1 tag so let's say uh, heading one and i can close this tag right save this file and uh, here the what we are returning render template this index.html now save this python file as well and let's come here refresh this or we can just hit the uh, this url home url and you can see the heading one and now if you see the view page source if you see the view page source you will see there uh, like the complete html document right earlier it was just a single line so this is how we can create uh, we can use the whole index html uh, html pages or if there are some h3 tag or like if you have multiple tags or multiple components in html you can do all these using the html page now suppose if you go slash about page right you will see not found because our flux server for right as of right now doesn't know how to handle this request if someone if a url if a user goes to slash about page all the urls we have already discussed all the urls are handled by route so right now we have only handled the slash route uh, slash url so let's create another route that can handle this url slash about when the user comes to this slash about what will happen it will create it will trigger this function you can uh, name uh, you can write any name uh, it's fine but let's say about and uh, let's just return h1 about page although you can again create a uh, about.html page and uh, about.index about.html page and uh, you can render that template as well but uh, let's now go to the slash about page you will see the about page and uh, remember you do not uh, require to restart your server now because it is debug 
mode on right uh, if a user goes to slash home again it will say not found but uh, we want if a user goes to slash home it should be redirected to just slash as in the home root so uh, there is one function redirect and what you can do you can create this route app dot route if a user come to home route slash home route uh, let's say home and then return redirect to which route just slash so let's save this file and let's try to go home route so you can see uh, as i hit enter on the home route slash home route it redirect me to the slash route right now after this uh, what we can do in the home route basically this content is static because html is a static thing so in usually we cannot change the html content but flasks uses something called jinja template so what is jinja so using the jinja template we can write the python code in the html so uh, that sounds very interesting how we can write python code so let's see how we can do this or uh, we can change we can completely use uh, use the dynamic content and display that content to the user according to what the user is so let's suppose there is a button here to log in and when we log in uh, it says hello your name so hello your name your name will be changed according to that user right so this type of content we can use we can do by jinja template so let's say uh, i have a list of friends so so i have three friends let's suppose and what i want to do i want to display these friends uh, any user can have multiple friends as well so if a user has 10 friend or 12 friend so according to their number list or number of elements in the list i want to display these number of friends on web page right so what i can do basically this uh, this is the friends list i can pass this friends list to the index.html page so let's say friends is equal to friends so this friends is coming from this variable right and this friend will be accessible to index.html so you can also write all friends my yeah, or, or what you can do my friends so now index.html how you can use this all uh, my friend variable so first you need to uh, since this is a uh, list we need to iterate over it right and uh, we can iterate over it using python so there is a code in python like for friend in my my friends and then you can print that but uh, jinja uses a different syntax so syntax goes like this so you first put two curly brackets and then you put 2% sign and now you can write the python code so python code goes for f in my friends uh, i guess my underscore friends right and now you need to print f right so in uh, in jinja template when you want to print any variable you put double curly bracket and then variable name just variable name right and, and uh, you can see i i didn't have put i didn't put uh, this colon sign like the python so you need to in python you need to put this colon sign but in html in jinja template we do not require to put this colon sign because basically this colon sign was in python it was it was the essence of this colon sign was to give indentation right but in html or jinja template we do not care about we do not care about uh, the temp, uh, the indentation part so you can write this thing in a single line as well then how can we differentiate what will what will come under this for loop and what will go outside the for loop so for this purpose we need to close this for loop as well so this is something new we need to close this for loop as well so we need to do and for since this is a python code this is a python code this is coming in uh, curly bracket percent and curl percent curly bracket again 
curly bracket percent and percent curly bracket right for f in friends you didn't you didn't require to put colon and you can just write uh, if you want to print the variable you can do this way uh, let's suppose with h2 tag right h2 tag now let's save this file let's save app.py file and in uh, home page let's refresh and you can see i have three friends displayed over this html page so uh, i can change this to my friends right so if you have a uh, hundred of friends let's suppose in facebook you have hundred of friends and you want to display all the friends so you can display this way so this is a uh, iterate or basically iterator we can use uh, we can use the placeholder f and we can iterate over this it uh, the jinja template also support this if conditional if conditions so uh, let's suppose if you want to pass multiple variables let's create a new m as five and you also pass this n u m here with the variable name of let's suppose n number and you pass n u m so this n u m comes from uh, this variable n u m and in index.html you will have access to this number variable right so how we can do this so uh, let's suppose here we let's write a uh, conditional statement so how we can do this again curly brackets then percent sign percent sign and you write the number uh, the if condition if number is greater than 10 now you need to print let's say p paragraph tag and you will say this number is greater than 10 right paragraph closed else you need to write else condition as well so if you want to write else if you can do lf and your condition but i just write else inside else you can do this number is smaller than 10 and then paragraph close but uh, you need to close if as well so you write end if so this is just a uh, one time effort to remember this syntax so if condition is uh, written like this for condition for uh, for statement is written like this right uh, so let's check in the web page let's refresh and you will see 5 is smaller than 10 so execution flows like this uh, you will get a number and it will check number is greater than 10 no else the number is smaller than 10 then it will print this thing Right.